Okay, now it's time to test the email. So we're going to go to the uh, email notification, the Gmail that is set up to notify once completed, to get the information about the link, the login from using Office 365. In this case, I'm using Microsoft Office uh, Outlook uh, 2013 to test it, but it makes no difference. So as of this uh, recording, uh, Office 2016 or Outlook uh, 2016 is available, but the setup is pretty much the same. So I'm going to go to Gmail here, the Gmail that I have. As we mentioned earlier, but here is the notification from uh, GoDaddy after it was completed. It has information about the link. Here is the link uh, that you can log into your email. So what I'll do, for whatever reason, when you manually type the link, it doesn't seem to work consistently for whatever magic is. Uh, so you manually type, it doesn't work. So, But if you do copy and paste, it works. Um, that's something a little bit tricky here. So I just want to show you, if you just in case you manually type, it's not working. Uh, there's nothing wrong. It's just how it was set up or something like that or something hidden. Uh, that's, I'm not sure. So if you do a copy and paste with that link, it works. Even, even though you put the forward slash type exactly the same, it doesn't show. As you see, the redirection is actually to a GoDaddy. That's why I mentioned there's no certificate certificates needed because the login. So, uh, uh, so I'm going to exile. I'm going to go back and copy the link again. But this time, I'm going to, let's see, paste it again. So it's a good idea to bookmark it. So what we do, we're going to bookmark that. Uh, so that, uh, and that way, you don't have to keep going back to the email. So recommendation is just to make sure you save that yeah, first email here. Uh, so we're going to uh, type in the password to log into. So this is exact, this is actually webmail, okay? So it should be working now. So the webmail that uh, Office 365 webmail. So we, can, we have to go to webmail to get the Microsoft products. So the process here is to download the desktop application. So as you can see here, around here, the online office. So this is installer, okay? You can download to install. You are eligible to download and install your desktop version. And as you can see here, uh, these are online applications down below, uh, live, called Office Live. But Office 365 email, you can uh, show you how to set up the devices. If you click on that tab here again, and you can uncheck uh, extra download. So the process here is to click here to download, okay? So we're going to go back to webmail later on. So right now, we're going to download to install. So installation part, I'm not going to go through uh, just to save time. So it's straightforward. So all you need to do is just click, double click on it to install. So I already have my Office 2013 version, which uh, I'm, it's not worth it for me to install even over again. Because 2016 and 2013 outlook is pretty much the same, how it's set up. So you click on show download here. So you can double click to install Office 16. And then you can follow along, follow along how to set up uh, Microsoft Outlook email on it. Okay, so again, we're going to come back to uh, Outlook, okay, webmail. So the installation, it's straightforward. You can just follow along to finish up, and then you come back how to install. And here's another thing here, Office uh, Skype for business is another thing. It's a matter of another subject. So I'm not going to go into detail with Skype for business. Uh, but right now, we concentrate on email. So exchange email, and you click on the link here. So this is the instruction. Right on the webmail, you can uh, read, do actual reading, straightforward how to set up many other devices like like iPad or uh, Android actually, and OneDrive and Link is another one. Uh, basically, it used to be a formal known, formerly known as Link. Now they call it Skype for Business. So. Uh, so this is, here is a section that shows you how to set up. There's another section as well. So uh, that's it. Uh, so we're, we're going to go back, assume that you already installed. So I'm going to go to uh, Office 2013, which is part of Office 365 anyway. So the early version for, for that product. So I'm going to go to Outlook 2013. Again, 2016 is no different here. So you're going to get into the visit here. So click on Next. And then leave everything to fall in next. 
So all you need to do is just enter your email address here. See? Make sure you remember your email address that was set up earlier. So you use that information uh, to, to enter, to set up. Okay. So I'm going to do typing. And you're you're going to see a little bit that, that uh, I'm doing on purpose here. So you're going to know in a minute why uh, I'm doing this. So I'm going to enter the email address here. And then, so all you need to supply is actually your name, email address, and password. That's it. So the setup is very straightforward. You kind of like enter information. And and then once you click next, uh, click uh, next. If everything is correct, it's gonna uh, the setup is gonna be uh, uh, completed successfully. So in this case, I did enter incorrect information. As you look at here, so the email address is not correct. Although the, the the name is correct, so I did that on purpose. Name doesn't matter, but the email address that's what. It, so I'm gonna correct the email address. So here is uh, again. If you don't enter it correctly, it's not going to be set up. The setup will not be successful. So now I, I correct the information here and click on next. So it's going to go through what we call auto discovery. So everything is set up automatically. Um, that's the beauty of uh, the Microsoft, I mean, as the exchange online, or we call Office 365 here. So we're connecting to Office 365 Exchange Mail uh, that uh, we just successfully uh, uh, set up on GoDaddy. So uh, the process, it depends on your connection. The initial setup could be, uh, should not take more than like five minutes or maybe like two minutes or so. So it should be, so once it's set up, uh, okay, here is the prompt. If you want to save your uh, password to Windows 7 or Windows 10, whatever uh, you're using. And again, Mac makes no difference. It's the same thing. So just enter email and the password, that's all. So you're going to see a check mark once it's completed. So give it a little, uh, sort, sort of like a, try to be patient a little bit. Uh, so it's going to be done. In a second. Okay, finish. Now, uh, what you need to do, just click on finish here. It's going to launch Microsoft Outlook 2013. In your case, you might be downloaded 2016. So, um, so once launched, so I pre test some email already. So, if login successful, you should see some test email that I have had done earlier. Uh, so, right here. So, your email address here. And also, uh, you're going to see some messages that I tested. I was hoping uh, that I should be uh, successful. Here it is. So it is working. So we're not done yet. So what we're going to do, we're going to test this email between this email and the Gmail that we were using to set up for notification. Okay, so we're going to run a test here to send to the Gmail that I was using uh, to set up Microsoft is uh, Office 365 notification. So I'm gonna enter, it's a good idea to enter both of them. So send to yourself here, and also send to another email that you're gonna be testing. Okay, so you're gonna put a separated with semicolon here. And here is my Gmail that I'm using for initial setup. Okay, let's see. And right now it should be working. Let's see here. Okay. So once done. Okay. I'm going to click on send. Okay. So let's go to uh, Gmail. Uh, second here. So I'm going to go to Gmail here. Uh, okay. We're going to go again. We're going to go to uh, the email that we were using. Uh, to do uh, the setup. Here it is. So it's working for sending out. So now we're going to reply back. Okay. Let's see if it's. So sending out is successful. So now we're going to try again. So we're going to send it back. Make sure send and receive is working. So let's check here. 
I'm gonna refresh a little bit. So it takes only a second. Here it is. That's it. So the email is working. So that's complete the outlook. So here is one thing I failed to mention about webmail. We're gonna go a little bit with them. Instead of using uh, Outlook, you can also use webmail. Here is a link we saved earlier, bookmark here. We're gonna go to webmail again, gonna log in. So this is the webmail. If you don't wanna use uh, Outlook, you can go to any computer, tablet or iPhone, anything like that, enter the address that you have here. So you can use webmail. So the front page here, this is the office online. If you don't want to install application, you can use web. It's the same thing as Google Doc that has. So Microsoft offers this feature. So instead of using that, so what you're doing here when you open in the Excel here, so what it does is going to save a record automatically to the OneDrive, which is your cloud storage that has one uh, terabyte on it. So that means you can go anywhere, can access from anywhere from any device with your online application okay so in addition to uh, um, the desktop uh, office suite so online suite is exactly the same except that we use a uh, browser here so these two tabs so we click uh, on them mail here that is a web mail okay so that's how you can browse through so skype for business i'm not gonna go over. it's a matter of another subject you can uh, so the whole length of subject that I'm going to cover later on, not in this uh, video, but I'm going to create the other movie for that one. So, so right now, we just focus on uh, webmail here. So one drive here, you click on here again, we just open Excel, it's automatically saved in here. So you can work uh, from any devices, okay? So that way, you always have an uh, option to work on for your cloud computing. So you click on webmail, that's uh, so we have to switch between the tabs. So we click on now, we click on webmail here. So exact, it shows exactly the mail that you have here. Okay, so that is another way you can access if you don't want to install on any devices. So that's a matter of convenience, just like you're using Gmail and Google Docs, all those stuff here. So you can click on new and edit and send. Uh, that's it for webmail. Next, we're going to go through process of uh, setting up Android. Okay, so for Android email setup, I'm using Samsung Galaxy Edge, but it's pretty much the same for any Android to set up anyway. So uh, did this tutorial also uh, similar to iPhone. If you have iPhone, tablet, or any other devices, it uh, should be pretty much the same. So I don't have to go in detail for all devices. So now I'm going to Google uh, Play. I'm going to search for Outlook. Okay, so we're gonna install Outlook here. So we search for Outlook here. I I always install. So when you find that, you just add it to install it. Okay. So I'm gonna search for more products. So Microsoft recently put all uh, Microsoft Office uh, applications, as you can see here, for free. So you can download onto the devices you want to use that instead of using uh, Microsoft Online. You can add to that anyway. So now we're gonna go to set up uh, Outlook. Again, you can also use the built-in mail if you want to, but I just love to use Outlook. So we're gonna set up uh, Outlook in a minute. Okay, we're gonna, it's kind of a little bit flaky here. So get started. Again, it should be simple. All you need to do, uh, yes, click on uh, Office 365, of course, because that's what uh, we are setting up for. So you choose Office 365 here. So you're going to enter the email address. Okay, make sure you enter correctly. The email address and the password. And again, if you're using iPhone, it's the same thing. You download the app and put it in, or, or iPad, or the other Android tablet. All you need to do is just put in uh, the email address and the password. That's it. So uh, that's why uh, I just use only one device uh, to demonstrate. Uh, and the other device is pretty much the same. So now we are redirecting into Office 365 here. So all you need to do is just enter the password here. Okay. And I'm hiding my password. <laughs> so I uh, just want to make sure you enter correctly. And once the credential is entered correctly, it's, it's going to go uh, 
that's going to be successfully uh, set up, that's all. Nothing else you need to do. Okay, let's see if it is taking that password. Looks like, yeah, that's it. It's done. So, once it's done, you can do, uh, uh, you can pass a send here. And so I'm going to try to set a send a second here. So, uh, I'm hiding my other addresses. Uh, so, that's why I'm blocking it. And so I'm going to enter, uh, I'm going to test send to myself and also, also send to my other Gmail uh, to make sure uh, it is working. Of course, I know that it's, it's working, but for the demonstration's sake, I'm going to try, try to complete that anyway. So, uh, let's see here, type that, and it's really hard to uh, press uh, the button. Especially the auto complete, I hate that. Um, see, I get second. And for testing, I'm not going to check the email. I know once it's sent out, and it should be completed, and that should be straightforward anyway. So, so one thing if I want to mention: if you set up the Quite Office 365 or Exchange email uh, on the mobile device, you are required to set up the PIN. So if you don't use the pin, you don't have the pin, you will be prompted. But you already have the pin. Uh, for I mean, I mean that uh, the pin to lock your screen. If you already set it up, it's, you're not going to be prompted. But if you haven't set it up, it's required. Oh, because the wrong email address. I'm going to try again. I'm going to take that out. Okay, I'm going to try send again. That's it. That's done. So the email has been sent. Okay. So that complete the email setup. As you can see, I'm receiving my test email. So for now, it should be all set. So the next step we're going to be doing, I'm going to show you how uh, to act to get access to uh, admin, so you can do more admin tasks since this is your email and you are the admin. So I'm going to go to the next step uh, to uh, demonstrate that. Okay, so this step is very short anyway. Uh, so what you need to do, you're going to log into uh, GoDaddy again. I mean, uh, yeah, to webmail and to do the admin task. So we're going to get that in a minute. So the admin is that um, on the admin tab is where uh, you manage your applications and also you uh, like uh, you check how many licenses you have and you can remove and add something like that. So we're going to go to GoDaddy again using the save credential here or bookmark here. So we're going to click on that. And so we're going to enter, in, you know, enter uh, the login. And again, uh, the admin tab and the admin task is actually uh, you can go to webmail and you will see how many licenses you have. It's not shown here because I haven't installed anything in that. You have up to five devices uh, to install the desktop application. As you can see here, uh, you, uh, there is an admin tab below. and up Along with that, the application, those are online applications. But what, what we're interested in here is just admin tab here. Since your login is the admin. As you can see, you can add users. Let's say you have more licenses, you can request for my, more licenses. And also, uh, out of billing and group, as you can manage contacts or uh, licenses or something like that. Domain and all of these are very um, straightforward that you can explore. So you don't have to go into greater detail here. And again, so when you log into webmail, if you use up more than five licenses, you can always re uh, remove one and add another one uh, up to five licenses. The tab I'm clicking here is actually to go to that GoDaddy. This is the hub version of GoDaddy. Previously, it was the hub uh, by created by Microsoft. But this tab here, as you remember previously, that we're going to come back here. So this is a tab that you can get all the help and also the how to set up. For example, you can set up all any devices. Uh, document documentation by GoDaddy is very uh, it's awesome and very easy to follow. And also the email setup on the desktop version. You can see you can use Apple Mail, Thunder, your Thunderbolt. Your I mean, uh, you are not limited to any uh, application. I mean, limited to just one application. And office setup, iPad, all of those stuff. So 
So that's it. That completes the admin uh, section. So next step we're going to do, we're going to check your domain proxy to verify that your information will not be exposed. Okay, now we come to the last section of the tutorial. So in this section, I'm going to show you how uh, your domain proxy can be protected and at least to understand about your identity and information when it comes to uh, managing your own domain or own your own domain. So, so we're going to go to GoDaddy again. So we're going to log into GoDaddy. Uh, for the first thing you need to do, uh, as always. Okay, and we're going to check information about domain proxy or we call private. So what it does, uh, how it works is that GoDaddy uh, actually uh, has information linked to the domain proxy uh, website. If you can log in here, so I'm hiding information, my information again. I'm sorry for this kind of annoying. But uh, as you can see, I scroll down to this domain here. Okay, that, that's a domain that uh, has been registered. So what we do, we're going to check on uh, DNS a little bit, explain to you a little bit about DNS. So technically, you don't have to do anything, but this is uh, have been set up automatically. If you look at the zone file here, so the zone file is actually, this is what uh, it has been managed automatically by uh, GoDaddy to point to Office 365. So you don't have to understand the technical term, but the zone file, everything, the reason why I want to show you the DNS because that's the public. So now we go to who is a website. So this is how you check your uh, identity. Uh, I mean, let's check about information about domain. So we're going to do a search. So uh, for realcom.com that we register up until now is over 24 hours. So domain, public domain has been replicated everywhere. So if you're looking from the public or the outside, you can see that it's not available. I mean that it had been taken, but you click on who is, okay? If you look at information here, it's shielded. So socom and real.com, information about contact information about you or me as an admin is not shown here. So that means its identity has been protected. In that case, you don't have to worry, not, not worry about your being um, targeted or something like that. So now we go back to GoDaddy here uh, for another step to view the account. So log in, view the account. So what we do, we're going to click on, uh, scroll down to realcom.com here in my account setting. So I'm click on domain settings here. Okay. This is what, I'm, uh, what I meant by uh, uh, GoDaddy has a long integrate or uh, interface with domain proxy here. So their job is actually the website, their job is actually to protect your information here. So payment uh, has been uh, made directly to you. So domain proxy here, this is the website you want to log in. So technically you don't have to log in, but if you need information about the login into this website, but you don't need to anyway. But I have my account. If you need an account, you can contact uh, uh, GoDaddy or the print proxy with information here. So there's not much information you see here because everything you update on your account in GoDaddy will pass along to here. And what, what the, the job for domain proxy is just to shield your information. This is my account that's logging. So I have two domain that's active for domain proxy. So we click on any of the extra information, now, that's not much. What it does is just show your identity, what information you put in uh, GoDaddy. So that has completed uh, uh, the tutorial here about the domain proxy. So I was hoping that uh, this is, uh, the information is useful to you. So now we have come along to completing that sec uh, uh, the tutorial here. This is a summary that we uh, want you to be aware of. As we go along, so Office 365 actually is a subscription base, just like an analogy to cable, modem, subscription, something like that. So within subscription, we have uh, Office Suite, desktop, right? For one license, again, about $96 per year for the first year. So you can install up to uh, five computers, Mac or Windows. So technically, you have people, member of family for five people. It fits uh, perfectly with the budget. And also, you have cloud storage, OneDrive, 
one terabyte and also Skype for business for all in one video audio conferencing. So I'm gonna uh, make a video about uh, OneDrive and also uh, Skype for business on a separate tutorial because that's gonna be very long anyway. So just let you know, these are just some of the few features you have for $96. You can't beat that. But traditionally, uh, if you have to buy a standalone office, what we call it, for on-premise application, it was up to $360, right? For now, you have to pay only $96 that work for the whole family, or maybe you have a, a business size about up to like uh, five people, I mean five users, or maybe about, uh, 10 users. All you need is probably about two licenses. And also, there's no expert. So once you want, if you follow the long step-by-step step like this, you don't really need an IT expert to help you set up. All you need to do is just follow along this uh, tutorial and you save a great amount of money. And also, everything is managed uh, by uh, support, by GoDaddy that has been uh, like a partner with Microsoft. So that would save a lot of money and also, and, and you learn, you don't have to learn about exchange anything. So hope that this information or tutorial is helpful to you. So if you find that the tutorial is helpful, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.